I don't know, I think it was uh, a lot of uh, do with I was playing with Lindy and Toff majority of the year. I think they helped me out and uh, trying to build my game. It was uh, it's a pleasure to play with those guys. And um, you know, I learned a lot from playing with them. When you play with guys, you learn a lot. And, and uh, I was very fortunate enough to be able to play with them. Dylan, you've been here long enough to have a pretty good read on things. You've seen some highs and lows as a group. Where did it get away from this group uh, on the vacation? Um, I just think at the start of the year, I think we uh, took our team some time to get some some chemistry, get familiar with each other, and um, since the deadline, we we were playing really good hockey. Uh, I liked where our team was at. I thought it was it was really good. We had a good run there at the end, and um, I think it was uh, kind of the start of the year. You could say November. I think that was you know we we're kind of chasing the year after that. It's easy to forget, but this team was off to a really good start with all the big wins against big teams. And then there was like a win against Pittsburgh where I think you guys had allowed like 20 shots in, in the second period. And even though it might not have been a complete 60-minute game, and then after that, there's an Oilers loss. Did something kind of happen in that stretch where it looked as if you guys were really good, but you guys weren't able to kind of hold on to that winning momentum you started with? Yeah, yeah, because we, we had that really good start. We had a lot of home games here too. We were playing really good hockey, and then... Yeah, I agree with you. It kind of got away from us a little bit. We had a hard time closing out games, and I think it kind of just snowballed throughout that period. And we had that, that tough stint in November. Was I think seven? We lost seven in a row. So I think that after that, we were kind of chasing it. And um, you give the guy a lot of guys a lot of credit, though. I think at the end of the year, guys worked hard and guys battled to give ourselves a chance. And you know, I think guys can be proud of that. And we ended, you know, we ended strong and tried to give ourselves a chance. Nothing really. So there's nothing you can kind of pinpoint from that stretch before the losing streak started that may have turned things. No, I, yeah, you know what? I think I think it was just those tight games that uh, I think it was in the back of our heads to to try and close out games. I feel like we were, uh, you know, almost got a little extra tight when I think they kept spiraling and kept going. I think it just, uh, you know, it bothered us a little bit trying to close out games. Right. How did you uh, how how did you uh, like your time in Calgary and, and how did you feel things uh, things fit for you? Yeah, I loved it here. Obviously, um, I touched on it when I got here, but the transition was you know pretty easy coming into a room where I knew a lot of guys, a lot of former teammates. So um, you know, I give the players a lot of credit for you know making me feel welcomed and. I think that kind of translated to the way I was playing. I really felt like I found my game again in this league and um, kind of found some of my offensive touch again. So um, just did what I could to help this team win as much as I could. And um, yeah, I, don't know. I was content with how I performed. Would you, uh, would you want to come back as a UFA? Yeah, I, I would definitely would. I love the group here. I had a lot of respect for the coaching staff. Um, I've touched on it. I have some family in town with my grandparents. so. Um, I enjoy playing in a Canadian market and having that pressure. So um, obviously it's not up to me and there's a lot that has to be determined. But um, if that opportunity presents itself, then yeah, I'd love to come back. Trying to touch on just the idea we're talking about new faces coming in, trying to figure out what seemed to work for you uh, right away. Um, how come? I think it's just something that I've had to deal with my entire career. Um, always kind of being doubted as a smaller guy and proving myself that I can play in this league and, um, you know, being traded last year and even going back to Vancouver where I wasn't qualified as an RFA, so I was facing changes there. So um, just controlling what I can control and um, that's how hard I show up every day and work and then, you know, having a good professional demeanor and um, just making sure that I, I'm putting my best foot forward. So um, like I said, I give a lot of credit to the guys in the room for making me feel welcome. A lot of credit to the coaching staff for you know giving me a role, and uh, I think that helped me a lot. When I asked Matt Coronado if anybody had taken him under their wing since he arrived in Calgary, and he said that you had done that, <coughs> you could talk a little bit about your growth as a, a young leader on this team, and uh, maybe what you saw from Matt in his NHL debut. Ah, oh, he looked good. He's awesome. Um, he's a great kid. Uh, he's actually living with me uh, right now, so he moved in. Uh, I think the day that he got here, and. Um, you know, for me, as uh, when I came in at 20, I think the hardest part about being in this league was, uh, you know, I think I was like Giordano. I think I was closer to his kids' age than I was his age. So it was, uh, 
you know, it's, it was a big adjustment just going through that. So um, just personally going through it recently, I'm still close to his age. I thought, uh, why not have him with me? So I had a, had a blast with him and he looked really good. He looked confident. Um, I was super happy for him. Yeah, it was like a cool moment to, you know, drive into the rink with him and just playing music, you know, just going together. And I was very fortunate if I got to go through that day with him because it's a pretty special day. So I was really happy that I was around and, and with him and, you know, feel pretty close with him. And he, he looked awesome out there. Did you make sure he did his Harvard homework while he was here? <laughs> yeah, I did it for him. So like, <laughs> Is that going to turn out well? So he probably failed. <laughs> yeah. He grows a beard faster. Oh, uh, well. I think we. Uh, I think today we got a uh, eyebrow waxing, so we'll see. <laughs> Roy, have you and uh, Andrew talked about hooking up on another overtime winner at Worlds? Or um, I actually called Hockey Canada and said I wasn't going to go this year, um, just not having a contract. There's obviously that risk factor of getting injured, so I sp spoke with my agent, and it's something I love to do. I love representing my country, but um, the two times I've been before, I've had a contract, so. Um, Obviously, this year, uh, just going to take it off and have a long off season. Hopefully, get in the gym right away and uh, prepare for next year. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.